Welcome back. Uh, I'd like to now introduce Dr. Natalie Lau. She is the CEO of the App Inventor Foundation, and she is going to announce the Global AI Hackathon winners. Awesome. So hi everyone, my name is Natalie and I run the App Inventor Foundation. And before that, I was actually a student at MIT for almost 10 years. I was an undergraduate, master's, and then PhD student there working on AI and education at the MIT App Inventor Lab, which is a part of the MIT RAISE initiative. And today we're going to be celebrating the first ever global AI hackathon and announcing the final winners. And hopefully looking at these projects will inspire some of you to learn more about different types of AI as well. So as all of us know, the past year has been huge for AI innovation and impact. And AI education has been more important today than ever before because we want to be able to empower everyone to be able to navigate the world they live in, uh, participate in really important policy discussions, and also prepare for the future of work. And as Robert alluded to earlier, at MIT, we think that one of the best ways to teach AI is through computational action. So we want to get students engaged in building hands-on AI tools and AI apps that actually have an impact in real world scenarios. So apps that can improve their lives and help their communities. So this year, we launched the Global AI Hackathon. And our goal was to get students to create apps towards two themes, health and wellness and climate and sustainability. And participants use the MIT App Inventor platform, which is a completely free and open source web platform for making apps that we host here at MIT. And it has 20 million users all over the world, half of whom come from the developing world. There were four tracks to this competition. Youth team, composed of two to five team members of students under 18. Youth individual, adult or mixed age team, and adult individual. And winners from each of these four tracks will be invited to present their projects at the MIT AI and Education Summit this July. So today when we announce the winners, we're going to be seeing the videos from the two youth winners and the videos and apps from the adult winners will be featured on social media and our website shortly thereafter. And again, this Global AI Hackathon was sponsored by DP World, uh, hosted by the MIT Race, and organized by the App Inventor Foundation. So I wanted to share some statistics on participation for this year. We had 1,078 people participate from all over the world. Uh, the median age was 16 years old, but the youngest was seven years old, and the most seasoned was 73 years old. So amazing range of participants. And our participants came from 91 different countries and regions, from every single continent except for Antarctica, and 55% came from the developing world. I also wanted to share the top AI tools that our projects used. Uh, these are super interesting. So perhaps unsurprisingly, 66% of projects use large language models and chatbots. And these were like ChatGPT and Gemini. 50% used image classification models, including Teachable Machine and Personal Image Classifier. And 47% used some sort of speech recognition or speech synthesis models. And as you could probably infer from these numbers, a lot of the apps that we saw use more than one type of AI. And we were really excited to see students getting really creative with multimodal AI apps. We had an amazing judging panel of 106 volunteer judges from industry, academia, nonprofits, all over the world. And we also really wanted to thank teachers from over 30 schools who took time out of one of the busiest months of the school year to volunteer and judge this hackathon. And now please put your hands together for the winners of the Global AI Hackathon. So the youth team winner is Sign Lingo. The team members are Amy Wang from Cross Timbers Middle School in Texas. Adrian Zhang from Raleigh Charter High School in North Carolina, Jonathan Shan from Poolsville High School in Maryland, and Justin Wang from Lexington High School here in Massachusetts. 
And as you could probably tell, they all came from different parts of the US. So they worked virtually throughout the hackathon on this project. And I think that's just one of the amazing things about a virtual hackathon and technology today. So SignLingo's mission is to foster inclusivity and bridge communication gaps for individuals who are deaf or hard of hearing through two-way translation between ASL gestures and spoken languages in voice and text. And I'll let the SignLingo team tell you a bit more about their app. Hello, everyone. I'm Amy. I'm Adrian. I'm Jonathan. I am Justin. Currently, limited tools exist for effective communication with the hearing impaired. Inspired by a playground experience with a boy using sign language, we developed SignLingo, an AI-powered app to help bridge communication gaps. After account setup and login, you'll access our app's four main features. First, for the sign to text function, we use the Google Teachable machine for data collection and AI model training to recognize and translate sign language to text or voice directly through your phone camera. Nice to meet you. Also, our voice to text feature converts spoken words into text to make smooth conversations with ASL users. Hello, I'm Jonathan. Our app integrates a comprehensive ASL database from the ASL University. Uh, users can simply input text to receive the corresponding ASL videos and guidance. This feature not only enhances communication with ASL users, but also fosters effective ASL learning. We also developed an interactive AI chatbot based on ChatGPT to provide real-time assistance on ASL-related topics, from syntax to cultural insights. When you face problems in learning or communicating, our AI chatbot is here to help with advanced generative AI technology. We invite our users to contribute to our AI database through crowdsourcing. You can easily record and upload photos or videos of your ASL gestures using our app. These uploads will be stored in the Google Firebase real-time database, continually refining our AI models. With everyone's contribution, SignLingo will grow smarter and smarter to help bridge the communication gap with the hearing impaired community. We will continue our efforts to improve the app using AI technologies. Our goal is to break down communication barriers for the deaf community. Together, we are creating a more inclusive future. Thank you for your interest and support in SignLingo. Yes. So what an amazing app. And as you could see, they use multiple types of AI. And one thing that our judges really liked is that they have this feature where you can take a video of somebody uh, using ASL. And they actually have image classification, but they designed it in such a way that it was able to parse video very creatively as well. All right. And now the youth individual winner is VipMod, Vision Impaired Persons Moving Object Detector. And this was created by Maura Moore McCoon from King's Hospital School in Dublin, Ireland. And the mission of VipMod is to help people who are vision impaired or have other access needs to live safer and more independent lives by detecting if there are any potentially hazardous moving objects nearby. And if the app detects a car or a pedestrian, it'll display the object's name, vibrate, and give out a warning signal through text-to-speech. And this is Maura. My name is Maura Moore McHugh, a student in the King's Hospital, Dublin. My project is called VipBod, Vision Impaired Persons Moving Object Detector. Approximately a quarter of a million people in Ireland are vision impaired. Globally, this number is over 2 billion. As a vision impaired person, I have difficulty seeing and hearing oncoming vehicles, such as electric cars or e-scooters. The focus of my project is to develop an app to detect these fast moving objects for people who are vision impaired or with other access needs. The app also has many other potential users, such as cyclists, users of e-scooters, and horse riders. This is my latest prototype, which uses computer vision identification to detect users on the road. I developed an AI image classification model, which I trained and incorporated into my app. I have coded the app to classify live video footage and identify a generalized car, pedestrian, or background, which is an absence of both. The app can detect vehicles against several backgrounds, such as rural roads and city streets. 
My main aim in designing BIFMART is to help visually impaired people to live a safer and more independent life, doing things that able-bodied people sometimes take for granted. Thank you so much for listening. So this was a fantastic project. And Maura shared that she actually collected 1,000 images when training her image recognition model. So that's some really serious research there. The adult team winner is Neotalk. This team came from Kanagawa Institute of Technology in Atsugi, Japan. And the team members are Seo Yukito, Tomoya Sato, Shitara Kaede, and Dr. Takano Kosuke. Neotalk's mission is to help people who have lost communication opportunities due to online classes and remote meetings during COVID relearn how to build empathy and friendships by practicing conversations with an AI character. And these characters have customizable voices and personalities as well. So please give it up for Neotalk. The adult individual winner is Doc Tum, created by Haksun Kim from Gyeonggi-do, South Korea. The mission of Doc Tum is to support people who have difficulty seeing a doctor check their health status by taking a photo of their tongue and using the image to identify various tongue characteristics like color, abscesses, and surface texture. So please applaud Doc Tum. And finally, we wanted to honor our honorable mentions as well, who were selected by our judges. There were five honorable mentions this year. The first one is Landslide Detection and Prevention System, which was developed by a youth team in Brazil. And they created this amazing IoT device that you can put remotely to detect landslides before they happen and alert people on their phones. The second honorable mention is Allergy Ally, developed by a youth team from India. And I know I can use this right now, uh, but it is an AI-powered allergy management companion app. Our third honorable mention is Smart Vision, developed by a youth individual from the US. And Smart Vision empowers blind and visually impaired users to explore the world with confidence. We also have Neuro Alert, which is from an adult team from Canada. And it's an AI-powered companion for rapid stroke symptom detection and emergency response. And our final honorable mention is Moya Moya, which was an adult individual submission from Japan. And through dialogue with Moya Moya, users can dig deeper into their unverbalized feelings and deal with them in a positive way. So thank you so much for attending this event and participating in the Global AI Hackathon. And um, if you're interested in meeting these projects and creators in person, please come to the MIT AI and Education Summit this July. Registration is now open.